the middle of the internet, we're back to school shopping. My favourite time of the year.
Okay, so there you go. You have just seen me having a lovely day out. Back to school shopping. I love this time of year and going back to school shopping. It was the one time of the year that I used to save all my pocket money for. Literally, the six weeks, by the way, if you hear binging, <laughs> it's because I'm logged into it. It's Bank Holiday Monday and there's an upgrade going on and I'm keeping an eye on it. Um, so that's messages coming through on Teams. There's nothing I can do about it. Anyway, so yeah, back to school time. I used to absolutely love... Um, Saving all my pocket money, beginning of September, uh, beginning of the school holidays. And I, I would go around the shops at the beginning of the summer holidays and go, oh, yeah, I'm going to have that eraser and I'm going to have that pen. And I'd be adding it up and seeing how much money I needed. And then my favourite thing was the last week before I'd going back to school was going round and cashing in everything and getting the pencil cases that I'd picked out of all the ones that I've seen and the set of pens that I've won, all the ones that I've seen and the set of rubbers and the new ruler. And then, then the, the week before we went back, I'd pack my new pencil case ready for school i love that and that's sort of like it's like a core memory and now when we it gets to this time of year i itch to want to go and have a look at all the stationery um hence why i literally had a day off work the other day and my husband said what do you want to do and i said i, I said i want to go back to school shopping <laughs> now don't get me wrong i don't need to go back to school shopping anymore i have more stationery here than a stationery shop but it is just something you know we had breakfast in mcdonald's before we started then we had a really nice sort of like trip around looking at all the different shops and then we had lunch out and it was just a really nice day but i bought some things enough rambling i bought for things and that's what you want to see now i basically so these are the things that i bought i bought these from b and um these were when i did a video of what i bought on prime day i showed this in my prime day haul and one lovely lady said to me, you can get them for like two quid at B&M. And I was like, oh, there isn't a B&M near me. It's like a, it's a holder. <laughs> Has that got a crack in it? No, it looks like it's got some sort of pen mark on it. I thought it had a crack then. Um, it's like, I was going to say, it's a whole it's a whole day's journey. It's not a whole day's journey, but it, the, the nearest one to me is a, a few miles away. So, you know, it's a trip. It's not just, you know, so while we were out, anyway. I was in B&M, <laughs> and look, they're much better. This one's got like, this got three holes, and so is this. This has got, well, this has got four holes, and this was only three pound in B&M. So I got two of them. They actually only had two of them left. They've got nice, soft, squishy feet as well. Now, that one feels like it's got a foot missing. Oh, it's foot's inside. That's very weird. Let's, let's sort this out. Their, their sticky feet are a bit... There we go. So that that foot should be there, and then that's that foot's come off as well. Look, yeah, it's probably not the best quality in the world, but there was only three quid. So that's better now. Then they're nice and stable. The other thing I was thinking you could do, glue them together like that, use them as marker storage. Sort of could, couldn't you? Lindsay the frugal crafter made something similar to this recently, where she stuck together some bits like this. I mean, how many could you fit in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Could you get twelve? You could. Ooh, maybe just about. You could maybe just about get twelve. Twelve in there. No, you could get nine in each hole. Anyway, that's by the by. I've not bought them for that. I've bought them for pencil playing around. So, move them out of the way. Put that back on my shelf. I'll show you the other thing I bought from B&M was I bought this. I had one of these. These are what the students use for um, when they're making like revision notes. And I had one here and I've used so much of it. I bought it a couple of years ago from Wilkinson's, Wilco's. And uh, I've used so much of it for when I'm just making notes or doing swatches. My actual plan for my original one was to make a, like a mini swatch book out of it. So basically put like blending colours on there. So like this would say Prisma colours and then different blends and stuff like that. And because I'd used my other one that I'd sort of earmarked for that. And this one was a big, look at that, it's a thick one. Lots of cards in this one. And it was only two quid and it was a nice colour green. I bought myself that. So that was, those were both from B&M. The next shop that I bought stuff from was Hobbycraft. Um, you saw me pick these up in the video. Um, I use these quite a lot. 
and I did have my small ones dried out and I've just I had a backup set <laughs> and I've switched to my new one and my my big one I don't use so much but I do use the little one and this was only three pound whatever it was 97 47 um in their whatever summer back to school art sale was running so I bought myself a pack of those. I did think about maybe getting a couple more sets and using one for light colours and one for dark colours because you have to make sure you clean them off well before you use them. But anyway, picked up them from Hobbycraft and I also picked up three <laughs> polychromos. Now I have the full set of polychromos and, oops, there you go, and I am loving them. If you've seen my video of no more pencils, uh, you'll know that I, I talked about trying polychromos and liking polychromos and these th first of all they had 25% off the open stock prices and these three colours were the three that I used to do oh you won't have seen it yet <laughs> in a picture I did some leaves I used these three colours and they're just a really nice blend and they're they're my shortest ones now I didn't need these yet there's no way I have run out of my Faber-Castell polychromos's colours yet um, but I I just wanted the experience of buying the opus in stock and they ended up being really cheap because of the 25% off so this was the, the cheapest I've ever seen open stock polychromos so I got the three that are most likely to run out the soonest like I say <laughs> this this trip was just me having a little bit of fun and buying myself a few little bits okay what's next next was WH Smith's so I've got all the little receipts here WH Smith's is by far my favourite place to go for um, back to school shopping and it was that, did you see that big massive set of felt pens that was £10 and I put at the bottom my inner child really wanted these, I, I picked them up so many times and put them back and my husband kept saying to me, don't you have enough felt pens, you won't use them, you've got much better pens than that and I was like, I know but they just remind me of Christmas when you'd get a big packet like that and it would be like your dream come true. And every time I, I kept walking past them, I was like, they're only £10. And I picked them up and put them up. My husband's like, you won't use them. You won't use them. You don't use water-based markers as it is. And in the end, I put them back. But I did buy <laughs> these, which are more expensive and um, maybe more adult-y. Oh, look, they've got a scanny thing on. My alarm didn't go off. These were half price. They were £24.99 down to £12.49. And they are, in theory, similar to the Tombows because they are uh, brush pens, dual tip, uh, brush tip, fine tip, water-based ink. They look like the Tombows. So I'm going to do a compare with them because these are the bright tones. They also had pastel tones and some skin tones and some other... They wasn't half price. A pack of 12 were more expensive. I think they were £14.99 for a pack of 12. And these were twelve forty nine for the pack of 24. So I thought, I'll give them a go. It's interesting to see what sort of like store-based stuff is comparable to the sort of named brands. Uh, the other thing that I bought while I was in there was I bought three Derwent Artist Pencils. Um, Derwent Artist Pencils, I don't, I've never tried. I don't have a set of them. I know they're nice and firm. And I've never really even looked at them open stock. And so I decided to, I think they had a three for two. They may have done. Let's have a look at the receipt. Yeah, they did. They had a three for two, which is probably why they were so decimated to display there. So I got, again, I got three greens because... I do a lot of leaves and stuff and I want to see how they blend. I had quite a, quite a fun time sitting there with a piece of sort of the paper there and blending the, the trios that I wanted and I bought those three. And then I couldn't leave without picking up the School Essentials set of 20 ballpoint pens. Now these are just coloured ballpoint pens. I don't expect to be using them for colouring or anything like that. But it's a lovely set and that was only £2. It was only two pound as long as you bought anything in the store, and I oh, there's security as well. I bought oh they were if they if you if you wanted to just buy them on their own they were six pound, um, but for two pound for two pound look I had to get that many 
ballpoint pens. So that was my stuffs from WH Smiths. And then next uh, was Flying Tiger. Um, yes, there's, there's the Flying Tiger receipt. And in Flying Tiger, I bought these. Now, how much were these? These were two pound. And these are a gold and silver marker. Um, they had to, just, let me just check that alert to see whether it was important. No, nope, we're all good. Um, uh, these have got a warning on them, and the warning is, let's find the English. Da, 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 da. Just a silver marker and gold marker for English. Oh, they're flammable, I think. I've got a picture of the fire. I don't know what the warning sign is. But when I bought these, oh, look, they're harmful for fish. <laughs> oh, my word. These reminded me of, look how much is in here. That's one English. Flammable liquid and vapour may cause drowsiness or dizzy. Very toxic to aquatic life with long life effects. If medical advice is needed, have the product container ha at hand. Keep out of reach of children. Keep away from heat, hot surfaces, open flames, avoid bleeding vapours. Breathing vape vapours. Look at that. <laughs> no wonder they was only a two pound. But I thought I'd give them a go. They reminded me of the old shaky, shaky painty markers and for a pound each I'll give them a go and then the other thing that I bought right hang on there's a lot of alerts going on now so I'm gonna have to look that's just some servers down and they're alerting so we wanted you don't need to know <laughs> oh, what am I talking about anyway so yes I bought those and then woo, then I bought these and that really weird box that they come in just they got look, nothing on them that tells you what they're like and they were £4.50 for 12 brush pens. Don't know if they're water-based, don't know if they're alcohol-based, don't know anything about them. Just says brush pens, that's all it says in English there. Uh, the only warning it's got is small parts, and they come fully sealed like that, fully sealed. No idea, nothing comes out, you can't see them, no testers. So the intrigue got to me, and I, I bought them. So they look like that. <laughs> very bright like kids pens which probably they are to be fair um let's should we have a go at one shall we let's do it on the back of that oh they've got nice brush tips though oh they've got nice brush tips says zoom you in a little bit i wonder if we can take this apart and fill them with other stuff <laughs> that's always my fault if they're good yeah, look at that. Look at that for a brush tip. Nice. Let's try it, shall we? Wait for the focus to catch up. There we go. Ooh, they're firm brush tips. Look at that nice green. Look at that. Oh, there's, you know what it is? There's like neon at the top. Let's grab that nice green. Oh, it's like a minty green. That's quite nice. Ooh, <laughs> I want to do some colouring in them now. Brilliant Sloth's book and uh, just see what they feel like. Let's do a green. We can do them leaves in green, can't we? Oh, they're all right, you know, for water base. Because they've got a brush tip, we don't really feel any peeling because they're soft. Like I've got enough water-based pens in the world. See, look, my husband let me buy these. Well, he didn't come in Flying Tiger with me, to be honest. But he didn't let me buy the big set out of um, WH Smiths. Right, I should stop. <laughs> They're all right, you know, not bad. Anyway, like I say, scratched an itch. Nice little box that they come in as well. Not quite sure how they I like these fluorescent ones. Look, you could use them as highlighters. Oh, sorry, should have zoomed out. I like them fluorescent ones. Should do, could use them as highlighters. Mm, interesting, nice box, all cardboard. Nice environmentally friendly. So, yes, that's what I bought from Blind Tiger. And I think that's it. Yeah, so Flying Tiger, 
WH Smith's uh, our hobby craft and B&M. So they're all the bits and bats that I bought on my back to school shopping trip, which I loved. So thanks very much for watching everyone. Take care.